Dear Catherine, I am writing in the hopes this letter reaches you and you are well. We are occupied for days on end, mending wire, preparing trenches, drilling and marching and so on. But I was pleased to have the afternoon off duty to see one of the quaint French villages yet untouched by the war, far behind the front line. I find myself so far from home. To think that my travels from Ireland to the Dern Valley to find work in the coal mines once seemed so far. It is nothing now. I have travelled to the Mediterranean to learn how to dig trenches, and now I find myself in France, on the banks of the River Somme. Our days at home in Barnsley seem so very distant. How is life in George Square? Are the children happy at school? Oh, you must get the headmaster to write me and let me know how you're getting on. Are you taking your walks and going to church? I long to think of our walks, both to and from the colliery, and to hear the bird song. There is bird song here too, when the guns stop rumbling. My fondest love to all at home, your loving husband, John. Dear Catherine, we have long stretches of waiting for the shelling to stop, but I keep myself occupied with my prayer book and keep the crucifix you gave me in my pocket always. It is at times like this I think of the two children we lost. Their precious birth certificates are kept in my soldier's small book, and I think of you and the children often. I hope this letter reaches you, and you and our six children are in high spirits. I am positive and upbeat and doing my soldier's duty as best I can. My fondest love to all at home. Your loving husband, John. Dear Catherine, the Barnsley Pals are preparing for a major advance, after which I am longing to see you and the family very soon. The advance is a far bigger thing than we have been in before but I have the nerve to keep my end up and do my share. That is all I can hope for at present. And I have every faith I shall be home safely. I'm sorry, but we've lost a few of the local lads from the colliery. Of the 300 Houghton, Main lads who joined together, I'm not sure many will return. There was this one lad, Fields End, real typical colliery lad. Tough in a fight. I think that's the first time our lads have come in real contact with the enemy. But don't worry about me. I am a soldier doing his duty. We've been long at peace that this war has come as a shock to us all. And I hope we can bring it to a successful conclusion soon. I will hope to write after our advance. But I cannot say when this will be. We do not know what is ahead, but we are prepared and ready. My fondest love to all at home. Your loving husband, John.